In Darksiders 2, the world's way more varied than it was in Darksiders 1. You're in the underworld. Death's kind of just on a journey through all these different areas, and you see this menace of corruption sort of eating everything away. You'll go from this beautiful forest to the forge lands, where these large, sort of like Scottish-like giants dwell, to the, the undead plains where skeletal lords roll over dusty lands, and to angel realms, to demon realms, and to the Tree of Life and all kinds of different locations within the Darksiders mythos. Each area has its own unique creatures, its own different environments, and it's all very distinct. So as you play through the game, there's, we really wanted the player to have the sense that they're constantly seeing something new and exploring some new area. One of the coolest things about the, you know, the controller on the Wii U, as far as Darksiders is concerned, is you can have the inventory, you can have the map, anything you want to reference in the game on the controller while you're still playing the game on the primary screen. Without that, you spend a lot of time going back and forth between the inventory screen and the main game or the map and the main game. It just breaks the experience up too much. So being able to do that without that division is nice.